Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Twist the Truth in. How you guys all doing? I wanted to talk about the latest developments in the Joshua Brown shooting in Dallas. So, a second suspect has been arrested in Louisiana. Authorities caught and arrested the second of three suspects. This is Michael Mitchell, and he's from Louisiana. U.S. Marshals found him. This is the trigger man, Thaddeus Green. He's armed and dangerous. And he's wanted. So on the 4th at 10.30 p.m. Suspect Jaquarius Mitchell committed the offense of capital murder at 4606 Cedar Springs Road, Dallas, Texas. Jay Mitchell committed the offense by participating in a robbery, which resulted in the death of the complainant. The complainant in this offense is Joshua Brown. On the 4th at 10.30 p.m., patrol officers responded to a shooting call at 4606 Cedar Springs Road in Dallas. Upon arrival, officers found Joshua Brown lying in the parking lot of the apartment complex with multiple gunshot wounds. Joshua Brown was transported to an area hospital where he died as a result of his injuries. Aquarius Mitchell. Around the time of the offense, Aquarius Mitchell was also transported to the hospital with a gunshot wound. Patrol officers spoke with suspect Michael Mitchell, who transported Aquarius Mitchell to the hospital where suspect Jaquarius Mitchell was transported to another hospital. Michael Mitchell stated they were walking down the street near Promise Hospital in Dallas, which is located 7955 Harry Hines Boulevard. He informed police that they, they attempted to buy some weed from an unknown individual and he attempted to rob them. Suspect Michael Mitchell further stated that the unknown suspect shot suspect Jaquarius Mitchell while patrol officers were speaking to the suspect Michael Mitchell he provided the name of Demon Martin. Through the course of the investigation, Detective J.H. White, number 7682, received a phone call from a parish located in Louisiana. He informed Detective White that he had been contacted by an individual that he knows who wishes to remain anonymous. He stated the anonymous witness informed him that Joshua Brown was shot and killed during a drug deal gone bad. During a robbery gone bad. And the individuals involved were suspect Jaquarius Mitchell, suspect Michael Mitchell, and another unnamed suspect. Detective White was also contacted by another witness whose identity is being withheld at this time. for their safety. 
The unnamed witness informed Detective White Suspect Michael Mitchell and Suspect Thaddeus Green came to Dallas to rob Mr. Brown, witnesses at the crime scene, informed patrol officers that after hearing gunshots, they observed a gray four-door sedan flee. The offense location at a high rate of speed. So Detective B. Tabor spoke with police officers. They reviewed the surveillance video, which shows suspect Michael Mitchell speak with an occupant of the four-door silver vehicle bearing Texas license plate. After conducting research of the vehicle, Detective Tabor learned that the vehicle was rented. That was rented by someone on October 4th in Alexandria, Louisiana. Detective Tabor also learned that the vehicle was returned on October 6th. On October 7th, Tabor and Detective Sayers interviewed suspect Aquarius Mitchell at the hospital. During the interview, Aquarius Mitchell stated he came to Dallas with suspect Michael Mitchell and suspect Green to buy some wheat. Suspect Jay Mitchell told detectives Tabor and Sayers that he and suspect Michael Mitchell were sitting in the car and suspect Green got out of the vehicle, began talking with Joshua Brown. The suspect stated he heard them arguing and he got out of the car. Suspect Green and Joshua Brown were tussling with each other and he observed a gun at which time he was shot. He informed detectives that Tabor and Sayer that he then heard two more gunshots. Suspect Green got back into the vehicle with a gun and a black bag which belonged to Joshua Brown. Green told him to tell the police that he got robbed. So this is the Sheriff's Department in Louisiana. Michael Mitchell was apprehended. Uh, the Sheriff's Office confirmed he was in custody in Marksville, Louisiana. U.S. Marshal Violent Offender Task Force took him into custody. He was arrested at the Deluxe Inn Motel. The Notel Motel, it looks like. He was arrested for possession of a Schedule 1 with intent to distribute felon in possession of a firearm and illegal carrying of weapons. Mitchell will be charged with capital murder. Court records say they're from, I think it's Cheneyville, Louisiana. I hope I'm saying that right. The Dallas police say they're from Alexandria, Louisiana. Michael Mitchell is the uncle of Jaquarius Mitchell. So the clerk of the court system in Louisiana in that parish has one prior arrest for simple battery Michael Mitchell, he was also the getaway driver. He dropped his nephew off at the hospital. According to the arrest warrant, Louisiana police contacted Dallas police. An anonymous tipster stated this was a robbery gone bad.
Wanted is Thaddeus Green. He's armed and dangerous. Here's the number to call. Uh, I guess the thing that bothers m me the most is the fact that it just seems that Joshua Brown is being made into some kind of a scapegoat uh, to kind of deflect from the fact that Amber Geiger, the white female police officer who shot an innocent man in his own apartment, was found guilty but he gave some really good testimony. He was an eyewitness, more or less. He was the neighbor. And he did not want to testify. So Dallas police state, as you know, speculation and rumors that have been shared by community leaders claiming that Mr. Brown's death was related to the Amber Geiger trial and somehow the Dallas Police Department was responsible. I assure you that is simply not true. I encourage those leaders to be mindful of their actions I encourage them to move forward because their words have jeopardized the integrity of the city of Dallas as well as the Dallas Police Department. Okay, so what the Dallas Police failed to mention is the fact that Brown had also been shot back in November of 2018. That possibly this could be a Brady violation for Amber Geiger. To date, Dallas police have not solved the case. And this left Joshua Brown in fear. He did not want to testify. But he was threatened with jail time. If he did not comply. He was the witness in the Botham Jean uh, trial against, more or less, Dallas police. Amber Geiger is Dallas police, or she was. So, why didn't Judge Tam Tammy Kemp or Dallas PD protect Joshua Brown? She sta Judge Kemp stated she hugged Amber Geiger... because she observed her throughout the trial and she looked like she was shrinking. So normally convicted felons are not allowed to have physical contact with anyone. Judge Kemp, however, gave Geiger a big old hug and a Bible. Okay, so my opinion is this. The Daily Mail, the rag over in the UK, is trying to dig up dirt on Joshua Brown and just because he has been arrested and has done some things in his past does not mean he deserved to be killed. It doesn't mean three murderers robbed this man at gunpoint, but he shot them first. Or that they were even doing a drug deal. I mean, he was shot in the back and in his thigh. I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't believe they just randomly met up with Joshua Brown to buy weed. Sounds more like a hit to me. Okay, so possibly he was trying to just get something out of his car, run away. Whatever he was doing, they shot him in the back. I mean, where was the Dallas Police Department and Judge Kemp after he testified against Amber Geiger, who had shot 
both him Jean and killed him in his own apartment because she thought it was her own. Within, a, what, 10 days, Joshua Brown is fatally shot. And what are the odds, really? I know I'm not ever going to shut up about it. Because Joshua Brown did testify. He did serve his jail time. Yes, he made some mistakes. We all make mistakes. But people are capable of change. We're expected to believe these guys drove over 300 miles to buy some pot. 